it up. Cue it, yeah. Are you drinking Budweiser? Hey! hey. Go right now. Davis and You're Howard. really dead today. You're I'm kinda not, hurt, you're, you're kinda hurt my feelings. Here we go. Well you spoke over me, so I didn't know what to say. Oh you know? come on. Start it out. Here you go. Here we go. Ah. Semi-final right matchup. <laughs> Davis and Halbert. Eric Davis, blue lane. Tanner Halbert, red lane. Halbert or Davis, who's seated higher? Uh, Davis actually is seated higher. Eric Davis is seated higher. Davis is seated higher. Um, but we were talking before we came on. Uh, you were talking about uh, you were watching Eric Davis' last match. Yeah, he, he just threw some bags. He missed two bags in like two in both the games. And the Austin slow bomb. I mean, he put a lot of bags in the hole. It's just, I, I think he missed two bags, but I mean, it just seemed like so many went in the hole, so many flops and cartwheels. And it's like a motorcycle going up a hill and then it headed down the other hill. You know, it's, it's just crazy how he climbs those bags, goes over top of them, and gets in the hole. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say, we can go ahead and start the women's doubles back up. So we're done with all those sports. Nah, agreed. I, I, I watched that match a little bit too, but uh, like we were talking about before, uh, I really think Tanner Halbert's got a really good game plan to work against that that flop shot because Eric Davis obviously puts the block bag up, wants you to want you to airmail or, or or set behind to set up, and then he's going to flop it in, which is a more percentage wise staying on the board shot than the airmail. Uh, but I think Tanner's got a you know a little bit different games game scheme coming into this than most players. So uh, we'll see it. You know we'll see it like right there. That's going to beat it right there. That's the only way it's going to beat it. Those great air mails. Oh wow. Yes. There it is. That's the only way it's going to do it. Uh, but it's tough. It's tough to keep. That's the thing. The flop shot seems like it's a more consistent percentage shot to keep on the board than the airmail. Because you shoot that airmail and you're long, you're off the back. You give it up to one, three points. Uh, oh, Tanner, nice, nice slide around. Ooh. Eric Davis, same thing. Tanner clogs it. Look at the speed at which he releases that bag after Tanner bag hits the deck or in the hole. Out, so I will not yell boom every time. <laughs> it's been be a honest. long week, fellas it's, yeah. and, and ladies. It's been a long week, trust me. Alright, Alfred Davis right here, right now. Alfred is up 2 0 on Eric Davis. Best 2 or 3. Winners semifinals. Loser goes to the finals. Oh, stuck. I just do not understand. That blows my mind. For the life of me, I cannot figure out how he releases that bag and is so accurate like that. With a flop shot. Best in the game. That shot. Hands down. Hands down. There's no one that can match him. Five to two. Davis in the lead.
fairly, uh, to be honest with you, we got a we got a couple good shots and everything else, but to be honest with you, it's a slow game. Uh, they're trying to figure each other out, obviously, early on, playing, playing each other's to, their their strengths, their weaknesses, and uh, I feel things are going to open up here in you know the next couple points scored, depending how the swing goes. Here it comes. Oh. Terrence going to push this back. But he's on the board. That's what I'm saying. He's on the board. You know, he threw an airmail. That, that bag knocked his bag in, but he would be off. But he's on the board in play right now. That flop shot. That's what's so... Oh, wow. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful shot. Oh. Short airmail is you push it. Short air mail. One off. It's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. A little off to the left there. I don't think he's going to rescue that bag. He's going to have to settle for a. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, he's definitely there. not going to get that bag. Two. Two there it is. spot for Tanner Halbert. Score is 5 4. Eric Davis over Tanner Halbert. In our game one, best of three matches. Garrison, and Garrison was eliminated against Tanner Halbert, and uh, Eric Davis beat Austin Schlobaum. So those two guys are out, and there's uh, Davis, Halbert, Anderson, uh, Guy, and Hurt left. And also, uh, Austin Cameron got defeated by Caleb Hurt. Yeah, so we're almost down to our four. We got uh, we got Matt Guy playing Sean Anderson on a sideboard right now. So, uh, ooh, Halbert takes the lead, six to five right now. Uh, but yeah, so we do have almost we have three players three players eliminated. We're almost down to our final four, uh, and yeah, we're moving along right here. Uh, great match going on, back and forth battle. Calvert's long. Here. Calvert misses one of his air mills. Gives up one. Um, give me one second, Chris. I'll, I'll go find out for you what, 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 what that's looking like. Red Guy is uh, li live streaming that match if you want to watch that match also. So just uh, go check that out on Red Guy's page. I want to make sure. Uh... Okay, so Trevor, uh, he just got back. So Sean Anderson's up game one, but in game two, Matt Guy is up 11 to one in game two. But Sean Anderson is, he won the first game, so this is in the second game. Uh, we'll, we'll try to keep you updated on that, who moves on that for sure.
two point swing to Tanner Hopper. Davis's push just uh, stacked up with the hole. Back to back, four bagger right there. Reset. Almost hypnotizing, huh? This bag just hypnotizes you whenever you're watching them. Oh. In the hole, in the hole, in the hole, in the hole. It does. Uh, I catch myself all the time. Well, I mean, just, just these level of players throwing catches me off guard. And I just, I do. I forget that I'm supposed to talk to somebody or everybody that's out there. I should say somebody uh, for sure. Um, Jeremiah, I want to say, uh, don't quote me on it. I'll have to look again. But I want to say Ta Tanner Halbert's throwing all slides. And Eric Davis is throwing Reynolds pro advantage. Yep, that's it. Those are both correct. Oh. No. No. Thanks, Trevor. Thirteen to eight, Davis. We're gonna be here tonight, going through the uh fans and our main team women's doubles and senior doubles. Definitely, definitely uh, appreciate it, Ryan. Yeah, they're they they've checked in uh, to this game, and you know now you're gonna now you're gonna see what it you know top players of American Portal organization is all about right now. Definitely checked in. Little push it right here. Bang bang. Oh, four spot. We get a four spot, 13 to 12, Eric Davis. Uh, Tina, this is the first game. We're still on uh, first game, 13 to eight. Uh, Eric Davis is up 13 to eight, uh, but this is first game of the best of three. It's been a down and back battle right here. Uh, both both players have came up big, you know, on score and on shots. And then both players have climbed back to make it right now 14 to 12. Fourteen to twelve. Eric Davis in the lead. Up 
front goes David with that block shot, just uh, sitting about four or five inches off the hole. Boom, big shot right there. Gonna dip it over, put it right in a hole. Davis looks back and finds out what he wants to do, looks at the scoreboard. Tries to flop it, didn't go over. Here comes Halbert in the boom shot one more time. Ooh, it dipped over, come on. That was close, that was close right there. Went off the back. We're gonna split him. Puts it up close to the hole. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a fantastic bag. Eric Davis, just a wizard with that hop shot. Hop flop, what do you call it? Boom! Fifteen to twelve. Eric Davis, game one. Shot. Didn't work that time. Big push. Bang, bang. 15 to 14. Tanner Halbert is one point behind tying this up. Davis still in the lead. Great bag. Tennant lays up right in front right there. Davis flings it high, tries to go over, didn't happen. Out, uh, so we got a game three, Matt Guy, Sean Anderson. Uh, in game three, Matt Guy's up four to three in game three. So that is a rubber match in the uh, Matt Guy against Sean Anderson. Big, big, ooh. I don't know where that all slide is in relation to the hole. Pretty close. He's gonna drag it. Oh, ooh. big shot, almost drug that one in there. Oh. Is he gonna do it again? You think he's gonna I, do it again? He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna grab it this time. He's got that bag over there to protect it from going out the back. He's thinking about it. I know, he's, he's gonna do it. Measures up. Oh, oh he, tries he pushed to go for a push. it. He tried to push his bag in. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's oh, smart. Smart. It hangs. That's a super smart shot. Got got lucky because Eric Davis didn't make that bag. Wow. That was... We have a battle. Uh, we have a lead change. 16 to 15 right now. Tanner Halbert over Eric Davis. Halbert's on fire uh, now. Halbert's two. Up two. 18 to 15. Tanner Halbert in the lead now. <laughs> I 
bet you guys are having an awesome time sitting at home watching this, but I'll let you, I'll just tell you something. It's 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 a pretty it's a pretty good good time sitting here seeing it in real time. There's isn't nothing it? like a live game, you know. It's just crazy. Just watching this in real time seeing top. the emotion. Boom. Oh, Eric Davis answers back. Time out going on right now. So we got a twenty to fifteen match right now. But a great, but a great shot for Eric Davis, though. Oh, I mean, great shot, great shot for Eric Davis. Great shot. I mean, especially the pressure, especially the pressure it's going to come under. The back, he's gonna try to jump it over and does he push it? Oh, he does. Oh. And it's game one. That's wow, Howard. Davis nearly had that. It was that bag just hopped over the top. Family. Got anything, Will? 
Uh, you know, local canopies, they got all kind of beautiful flags out here. Just, uh, you know, the whole nation set up is incredible. Just, just their support and throughout the year, it's just been incredible to me and Tim Burnett. Uh, we're grateful for them and uh, the ACO is grateful for them too. If you need any kind of products to help to promote your business, localcanopies.com and use Boom and you get 22% off. By the way, this is a down and back. Uh, this didn't go live. Uh, Hampton Farms, you know, they've got some incredible peanuts and snacks. And the food here has been exquisite. All week long, we've been feeling like kings and queens with uh, the Hampton Farms. We appreciate their their uh, special promotion, you know, and, and assistance to help us promote the worlds throughout the year. Hey, so an update on uh, Sean Anderson, Matt Guy. Game three, 11-3, to Matt Guy over Sean Anderson in game three. Sean Anderson won the first. It was a big comeback to win that. Uh, Matt Guy, we'll say, cruised through the second game. Boom! Won that. And uh, they're in game three. Well, 11, 11 to 2. Boom! Big. Last time I looked at the score was 11 to Oh, he tried to shove it. So. Tanner Halbert's airmails are absolutely on point. But you know what? Eric Davis, if that bag is in front of the hole, they are rolling. Yeah, they're rolling. The Derek Davis is rolling over that that. Oh, Fantastic so yeah. shot. Though they're gonna start battling it in now. See, that's that bag right there. I I just don't understand how he gets it to do that. He's a wizard with that hop shot. He is, but I I gotta I, I gotta tell you, you know, last game, um, and we get memorized. We, we do. I mean, I apologize. That that hop shot's just phenomenal to watch. But Tanner Howard and his tenacity, and he sat there zoned in and worked through Good everything. Shot. Oh man, he, he killed it. I mean, he, he really battled back and he used his abilities to his he's, advantage. He's frustrated, he's like hitting all the and emails. He's frustrating, he's frustrating. He's frustrating because he's just making so Boom. many airmails. And. Boom! Four airmails right there. I don't know what the first one was. Right there. It's three, mer three um, airmails. Um, so we're down and back. So a boom shot is, uh, you know, an airmail, right? People, it is. people incorrectly yell boom whenever it's a roll shot or if it's a slide shot or whatever. That's not, that's what we yell. That's, we don't yell boom for any other shot other than an airmail. But if Eric Davis hits an airmail, I most certainly will call a boom. And he has hit plenty of airmails all day long. And uh, I've called plenty of blooms. Just he yeah. hasn't, it hasn't been on center court, not in this match, so. But yeah, um, hands down, the boom shot is always an airmail shot. And it has been called. And uh, I will say, no excuses. Agreed. You know, uh, he might have not been calling it out, but his voice is a little bit, uh, a little bit harsh today. It's been a long week. Um, but boom! There, I'll call it out. I gotta find out a, a call for the flop shot. I guess because he's hitting it all over the place. Um, boom! 
I don't think I don't think Tanner Howard has missed an airmail. Oh, Bert Bang! Big push! Big push! Huge push! All day long. Uh, Tanner Howard is on fire. Holy cow. Um, we're trying to be impartial. And we're trying to not be biased, and we, we are biased, or not biased, by all means. Um, it's just, you get memorized in the game. I mean, if you're not sitting here watching this right now, I get it, it's live stream, but when you're in the moment, it's tough. It really is. Um, you, you, just, you just get caught up in the stuff. So, you know, apologize to our viewers if we really, you really think that we're doing, you know, a bad job. But, hey, we're calling the game it is, as it is and how we feel it. And we're trying to give you the emotion of what's Boom. going on here. Uh, so, there it is. That's the pitch. Here we go. We just had a great round right there. I'll take it up and then I'll give you all the There we go. Albert, that, that back. Hide, hide right, right there. Eric falls him. Round about, flip flop over the front bag. Albert also Albert goes. slides up. around him. Oh. Eric lays, hanging on the ball. Oh, he. Talbert. Oh, oh we there. got a wash. So Eric Davis didn't win doubles, but he won juniors, world championships. Co he won co-ed world championships, and now he's going Tanner, for Tanner came. Tanner came in second yeah. in co-ed. Um, both of these, both of these fellows are not shy of the uh, the, the highlight, the show, the show, the show or the shot. Um, yeah, especially Tanner. Tanner, Tanner's coming. Oh, oh man, another great air mail. Swish. Holy cow. Does he do it again? Oh. Uh, didn't happen. He is Just slightly it. shy. He's feeling it. He might have missed that, fellas and ladies. But oh, I it. didn't go in. He was going to get a bang, bang, and it didn't happen. 5-5. Five, five, five. Five game, 5-5 five, five right now. What do you think? Here we go. Got another down and back. That's what it feels like. These guys are just washing out with great shots back and forth. Cool Tanner slides around, bully bags him out. Air tries to pull it in. Up top. Tanner goes up. Boom! Oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Boom! Trying to collect that bag over there. There we go. We got a little bit of airmail. Oh. Davis pops two right there. 11 to 7. 7 11. Tag the team out there, man. I got this is Frank Gears of Cornhole, dude. I got Eric Hubbard. 
from Las Vegas Cornhole on my right. And we got a nice cold Bud Light and Ultra in our hand, and we are enjoying one hell of a game here. I mean, this is this is unbelievable. I mean, Eric Davis, I mean, the kid's phenomenal. He's got a shot that is just sick, but Tanner Halbert has been airmailing the hell out of it. I mean, Davis is throwing that perfect blocker down, but Tanner is saying, I'm going over top, kid, and I'm going to show you how it's done, and he's done it. And that's what it takes to beat that uh, rollover shot there, but... It's so frustrating when you're playing a player that can do that bag after bag after bag because there's no way to defend it. Like, you can't defend it unless your airmail's on point, and that's all you can do with it, so. Okay, so the, uh, the question is, it'd be an interesting statistic to look at. I'd love to put uh, Tanner and Eric up to the challenge someday at one of our tournaments and just see, all right, if I put a blocker on the ba uh, board, right, and I give them each 50 bags. What's it, who's going to percentage-wise put it in the hole more frequently? Will it be Eric Davis with the roll shot, or will it be uh, Tanner with the air man? So it's an interesting thing to look at. I mean, we might be able to go back and study the study the numbers here. I think. I mean, I think it's going to pay on the day because when you're at this level with these players that can do these shots. There's days where Eric Davis's roll shot is on point, and there's days where Tanner's uh, air is on point. So, I mean, if you have them at the same, you know, if both those shots are on point, I mean, it can go either way. No, I mean, I would put fun. money on the on the roll shot with Eric Davis the way he's been throwing it lately, but you can't rule out Tanner's air melts. Like, yeah, I haven't had the chance to watch this entire game, but I, I sat over here, and I'll tell you what, the other thing that people don't realize that Eric Davis is so good at it's throwing that blocker shot. Yes. That that is actually That's probably, probably the shot. hardest shot yep. in the all the corner to throw the perfect blocker. And, and Eric Davis clean it up. and clean it up. And I saw that. Oh, Boom! Oh, Tanner just won that game. All right, all right. That's Tanner it, takes. ladies and gentlemen. Tanner moves on to the Tanner Halbert moves on. Eric Davis. Hey. AR, oh. AAR Roofing, mm -hmm. sponsor of his. Yep. Eric Davis, great job, great show. I was actually talking to hey, Eric, Eric, this wasn't your year to win the Pella yet, buddy. You're going to win that Pella one of these days. I know it because you've got the best game, one of the best games in the country. Tanner Halbert, I love to see it, man. Moving on to the that finals. That is a, in the championship. The Kingslayer is in the championships. Takes down the bouncer. These guys were playing for player of the season this year with Matt Guy. Matt Guy's in a grudge match over there. Yeah, Matt Guy is still going I think he's going still over going over there on a with uh, Sean Anderson. Last I saw over there, I think it was 11-3 to three, Matt Guy game three. But game three. I don't but know. it has been going on for a while. Yeah. So it is. So coming up soon on center court is the ACO World Championships Season 15 singles title.